Hey guys, welcome to TGS. Today we're going to talk about and show you a few things to do with beads. Uh, we went out a couple of weeks ago and filmed a piece at the clay ground, but actually on reflection we didn't really say anything of any sense. I think we'll bolt on after this. So for this start, I'm just going to take you through the, the facts, I suppose, before we go to a range and you see me and Dave acting like idiots. Well, do you need a bead? The clear answer is no, you do not need a bead. Back in the day, a cyber side did not have a bead and they managed to shoot quite well. They had very, very small beads just as a centralizer. Nowadays we have this, a very large and flat rib as opposed to a scalloped one. What we found or what I have found through talking through a multiple multitude of people and looking at a lot of people shooting is actually people reference the rib more than they do the bead. And as such, actually bead can be as much as of a bad thing as a good thing sometimes. Bead choice is very, very important. And some people who will just stare at that bead and really measure their lead out, which is perhaps not the, the wisest way of shooting or not the most wholesome way of shooting, will prefer a big heavy bead. Actually, in reality, you're probably better off having a little bit more comb, seeing a little bit more rib and having a smaller bead on the end. But that's just me. Can you shoot without a rib? Uh, can you shoot without a bead? Yeah, of course you can. Can you shoot without a rib and without a bead? Well, that actually becomes a lot harder coming from an over and under shooting background. Once you've had one, it's kind of hard to adjust to not having one. And that is part and parcel of how some people struggle to move to ribless guns. You need or you start to rely on that sight plane on top there. However, providing you have the rib sight plane, you can live without a bead. And I suppose that's the, the baseline is one can shoot without a bead. However, one would struggle to shoot without a bead and a rib. You know, you get a lot of these single barrels or, or, for example, silenced guns that don't have a bead on the end. And actually, it takes a while to learn that art of shooting and rely more on your hand speed and gun movement versus the target, your hand-eye coordination versus perhaps that referencing of, yeah, my gun's mounted perfectly, bang, that, that much, that much speed. And I suppose that's it. Anyway, I hope that was mildly helpful. My suggestion to most people, or a lot of people, is to take your bead off. A lot of people rely on that bead, and actually it ends up, they'll swing through a target, reference the bead, go, oh Christ, slam on the brakes, and it'll end up making you stop the gun a little bit more than perhaps you would if you didn't have one. Enjoy your swing, trust yourself, remove your bead, give it a try. It, it never hurts to give it a try. Obviously, there's a whole litany of other things that go hand in hand. That does include eye dominance, and certain beads can help with eye dominance, certain ones can detract. However, that's not what we're talking about today. Guys, enjoy this next bit, although it is mostly just mucking around and enjoying ourselves at a clay ground. Guys, today we're discussing the subject and topic of, do you need a bead to shoot a shotgun? I'm gonna just tell you the answer. The answer is no. It does require the imagination that you might need to imagine there's a bead there sometime, but just to prove this point, we're going to shoot it. What it does require is this gun to fit you vaguely well, or for you to know how to mount a shotgun. So to say that you should start shooting without a bead might not be intelligent. However, some people, mostly center vision people, would definitely benefit from removing the bead. Let's shoot a couple. Getting the point, we're going to start by shooting a low grouse target. Really unexciting, but a good opportunity, the perfect to no bead target. Pull. Right. And now we're going to shoot a teal target. A teal target is one of those places that a bead can come in real handy. Would you agree? Yeah, just so you can get a bit of perspective and aim a little bit more. Yeah. But um, you don't need to. Yeah. No. You have an imagination. Yeah. Pull. Edge that person. If anything, actually not having a bead gives you a more open sight picture, which actually can be quite nice. I and mean, people who go with the really high glow beads, I really honestly find they detract my eye from the target massively. If you have eye dominance issues, they can be helpful. Yeah. But so can a double bead sight. Be good for an overthinker. Neither Takes of us that. count as that. Yeah. So, we'll have this rabbit target here. Oh. oh. No bad. Oh. Oh, I love that high one. There you go. Oh. Let's have to shoot that. 
All right, so we'll take that high bird, see how it copes with the driven. Then you can show off how to do it properly. Oh. All right, David, let's have a go. What are your thoughts on beadless guns, Dave? Uh, I have no thoughts. Because it, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because you shouldn't. Sometimes. Look, sometimes. Most of the time, you shouldn't really be looking at it anyway. <clears throat> what am I shooting? Number six. Lovely. I really don't think it makes a huge amount of difference. You don't look at your bead. A huge amount. I might reference my bead. I but... think a small bead sometimes is quite nice. Yeah. A small brass bead is much better than a big orange one. Yeah. And allows you to not have your eye drawn. For example, on quick targets when you don't yeah. actually need that bead anyway. I can't stand a big bead. Pull. And you don't really even need the bead to judge exactly where you are. Because I'm going to do a shoot the left hand side off the one and shoot the right hand side off the other of the teal. Pull. There. Pull. Pull. I think at the grand scheme of things, Dave, you don't need a bead. No, of course you don't. I don't fret if you lost it anyway. Yeah. But it does require some experience to get to that level. I've got friends that have lost them and just never bother replacing them. And they shoot bloody well without it. I think it slows a lot of people down and makes people overthink more yeah. than they should in some cases. Yeah. Which is not good. Anyway, that's that. Point proven. See you later. Job done.